How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I have for you guys how to complete the fifth inning conquest as fast as possible and uh, you do have some leeway with some of these turn-based missions but once again we do see these turn-based missions where you have to capture the New York Yankees stronghold in one turn, capture the Tampa Bay Rays stronghold in two turns or less, and then capture the Milwaukee Brewers stronghold in three turns or less. And this sounds like it might be a little bit tougher than it really actually is. Uh, you can actually lose games as well. But uh, there's the rest of the missions. There's like 13 total missions for this. You can hit, uh, discover hidden rewards along the way as well. If you've played some of the other conquest modes, uh, like the fourth inning program, then this one is very similar. Uh, personally, I don't really like to play the individual games for the hexagons, and I figured that SDS would not make us do that. So I'm going to go ahead and try to simulate all of these games. I thought about playing that one, but I decided to go ahead and simulate it, and then if anything happened, I would just go ahead and restart. So I would try to get to this game uh, right here, and I actually decided to restart anyway. Once I got to this point, I wanted to see if I could possibly play this game on veteran difficulty by just simulating all the way through, and I don't think it's possible. I think if you play all of the games and don't allow the uh, the fans right there to simulate and then take away some from your, I guess, attacking hexagon. So I, I tried to get it on veteran, but I think you're gonna have to play this first game on Hall of Fame. I did not, I wasn't able to get any possible way to play it on veteran, but I did try a couple times. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this gameplay. The Yankees do have a tough team, and I want to kind of give some tips on how to beat some of these teams specifically on some of the harder difficulties. If you uh, if you do end up losing one of these games, then you will have to restart, uh, especially this Yankees one. I guess you have a couple chances to play them on All Star difficulty without advancing the turn. But um, if you don't, if you do go ahead and lose a couple times, then I'm gonna try and give you the best advice on how to attack these guys. So the best thing to have on your bench for your team is a lot of speed. You wanna be able to go to some pinch runners. If you just get a base hit, try to steal some bases against the computer. For example, I'm using Ichiro Suzuki off the bench as well as Ricky Henderson. I also think that those guys are pretty good hitters so I can use them as hitters as well. But if you don't have really the best team or some of these signature series guys or specifically those guys in general, then I recommend picking up some budget silver cards that you'll just use as pinch runners. But I also would recommend using some guys defensively uh, off the bench just because, like, for example, I'm going to try and get myself out once I score a couple runs. I'm going to try and get myself out. It can come back to bite you if you uh, give up too many runs pitching-wise. Uh, sometimes the computer can really get something going on All-Star Hall of Fame difficulty. It's just it, that's the case, and uh, sometimes that's happened. So anyway, I did win the last game and conquered the Yankee stronghold in one turn. As you saw, I completed that mission. I'm going to go ahead and try and simulate all the way down because I'm going for the raise now before turn two or uh, two turns or less. So now it's going to be the steel fans phase. You're going to go ahead and play against the Rays if you would like. You can really play against any team, but that's just going to allow me to play them on an easier difficulty depending on the simulations and stuff like that. It's going to allow me more leeway to not have to play some of those games in between the strongholds for those uh, hexagons that are just territories. So anyway, I did go down in this game. I was actually losing, I think, by one run or it, it's tied up one to one. I was able to score a run to come back and then end up taking the lead, but I mean, the top of my lineup has a lot of speed, and that's really the important thing about this is to get the lead, and then also you can get yourself out. Some of these guys can bunt at the top of the lineup, and uh, really just try and get a couple runs of insurance, and then just get yourself out. It's probably the best way. It's the quickest, fastest way to get this conquest completed because you will have to play a variety of games. I mean, so far uh, throughout this, I've played three or four games so far, and I've had to... Uh, steel fans that's part of a mission as well it's just all this for 30 program stars definitely a lot of work to do but i wanted to try and get this video out as quickly as possible for you guys i have not completed the entire map yet but the rest is pretty self-explanatory once you get past these turn-based missions you will be able to go ahead and complete this conquest mode just as any other conquest so i can talk a little bit about that as well towards the end there i kind of lost some fans on some simulations i thought that might uh of ruined this run I thought I might have to restart but because I stole fans against the Rays I was able to still play this game on all-star difficulty I thought I might have to play that one on Hall of Fame obviously that wouldn't be uh, ideal but if that was the case then that was the case because I decided to simulate those games and if you played all those games that I simulated then you would probably be able to play uh, the Rays on veteran or maybe even rookie difficulty and potentially if you played all the games down here from that uh, space where I went over to the Rays if from that space right there, if you went all the way down uh, to the 
Brewers Stronghold and played all of those games, you might be able to also play them on an easier difficulty. I went ahead and skipped this Steel Fans phase, advancing the turn to turn three. So I'm going to be going up against the Brewers on Hall of Fame. It was a three to six matchup, but when you go into it, it takes away one million fans from your distribution there, as you can see on this screenshot. So I will have to play this game on Hall of Fame, and I will only have like one other chance because you have to have at least one extra million fans to play them. So I, I think I only have one extra chance. This is a must-win game, and uh, I am on turn three as well. So if it advances my turn, then I won't be able to complete this mission. Uh, it's probably not the most efficient way to do this, but this was the fastest way for me to do it without restarting and uh, doing it a different way. Also because I simulated and I skipped some of those phases. So that's the way it is, and uh, I'm sure you guys could do it a little bit better. But I wanted to get this video out as quickly as possible in uh, just the way that I did. I did it, and there's a variety of ways to complete these turn-based missions. I mean, even Conquest Extreme was very similar to the turn-based missions, and there's a variety of ways to complete that mode as well. But the main goal is to capture the Yankees right away, and then make your way down to the Rays, and then go to the Brewers. You can do it out of order, to where if you mess up and you're not able to complete one of these missions, you can always complete the entire map complete all 12 other missions, leave the last one where you may, let's say you weren't able to beat the Rays. So you have to go back and uh, I would still conquer the Rays stronghold, complete all the other missions, and then once you restart, just go straight for the Rays right away before two turns or less. That's also another way you can do it. There's a variety of ways. If you wanted to go at it, uh, go straight for the Milwaukee Brewers first because you think that they might have the best team out of all three and you're struggling against them, then go for it. I mean, this team is pretty good. They do have some guys that have some pretty good power and but the reason why I tried to complete this conquest first and as quickly as possible is because I'm trying to get those 30 program stars I did lock in the voucher that will give me right around 100 once I complete some of the missions in moments I will be able to get to right around 175 or so maybe even more and then uh, some games of battle royale the rest of the program that way I'm trying to complete the Lou Gehrig program as quickly as possible the reason why I'm calling it that is because I'm hands down picking Lou Gehrig and I'm going to uh, go ahead and buy Bob Gibson off the market once he drops down in price. But I definitely think that there are a lot of stubs to be made in this uh, in this program. The fifth inning program is just coming out today. So definitely try and complete this conquest as quickly as possible. If you don't have the voucher, you don't necessarily have to do it in this mode. You can or do it in this way. You can kind of uh, take a more relaxed approach at it. You don't you don't have to play all these conquest games in one day or play some of these strongholds like I'm doing. You can always restart, like I mentioned earlier. But uh, there is a great example. I brought in Ricky Henderson off the bench. I was able to steal a second base there. I'm just trying to get an extra insurance run because uh, the computer was able to score some runs off me throughout these games. I mean, even with the good bullpen and the team that I was using, uh, they were still able to get something going. I mean, it's really a lot of the quirks that the live series guys have. If you throw a fastball to a guy with dead red and you miss location, then most likely he's going to hit it. Uh, no matter what difficulty you're playing on, uh, if you're going up against the computer, it just seems to be the case. But I wanted to give you guys a quick gameplay from this one because this was the toughest game I had, Hall of Fame difficulty. I uh, didn't give up any hits to the computer, facing um, Travis Janikowski with Billy Wagner. The bullpen in this was very big. I was uh, fortunate enough to win most of these games. I did indeed lose one because I was trying to get myself out. I ended up going into like extra innings, and then I just ended up quitting out of it. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys this quickly, this quick video on how to complete this conquest. Now from here, I will just go ahead and reinforce the rest of uh, every space and just attack each stronghold on veteran or rookie difficulty. There's no reason to play any more of these games on All-Star or Hall of Fame. I mean, because I've already completed the turn-based missions, I got the hard part out of the way. I don't even necessarily have to complete the rest of this conquest right now. I can also hop into the rest of the program. But uh, I think the only other mission that I have to focus on is stealing uh, fans, which because I skipped that phase, I'll have to go ahead and play one more steal fans phase. But it won't really matter all that much because that's pretty easy. I could probably do it on, you could you know, do a couple of them on rookie or whatever the case is, veteran, a couple games on uh, veteran or all st one game on Hall of Fame, whatever it is. I mean, 4 million fans is nothing. Just extra missions, extra XP. I'm going to go ahead and open up some of these packs 
to uh, end this video but that's how you quickly complete the conquest I will have uh, another video on how to complete the program a little bit later I think uh, just the best way to approach some of those missions and moments I think there's some tough moments in there and some easier ones as well so the best way to approach those I'll have that video out uh, coming soon if you go ahead and lock in the voucher I'm sitting at about 90 program stars thank you guys so much for watching I'm College Lefty and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out